tips. Now there isn't a tab over here that's called Gradebook. We actually need to do this through three different tabs. And those tabs are Grades, Assignments, and Settings. We're actually going to start this through the Assignments tab. I wish it was different, but this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to start here in the Assignments tab. Now I already have a couple of assignments here. This is my default category. So whenever you create an assignment, a discussion board, a quiz, or whatever, it's going to drop into Assignments. Now I want to add some other categories. So I'm going to do this by doing Add Group. So I also have Exams as part of my overall grade. And then I also have participation. So I'm going to do add group again, and I'm going to call this participation, if I can spell that right, and then save. Now assignments was the default, but maybe you call that something different. If you want to change the name, you can click on these three dots and then click edit. Maybe you call this homework instead. Homework. Okay, save. What I want to do is to weight these so that it matches what my syllabus says. So let's say in this class I've got homework worth 50%, exams are 25 and participation is 25%. The default for Canvas, if you don't do this, is to weight everything by points. So I'm going to go ahead and add that layer where I've got each of my categories weighted. To do that, I'm going to click on the three dots and then I'm going to add assignment group weights. Let's check this box. So we've got our options here. So what did I say? Homework was going to be 50%. Exams are another 25% and participation is another 25% and I've got my entire 100%. Now inside of these categories, each of the assignments are weighted based on their point total. There's not a way that you can say weight all of these equally. I super wish there was, but there isn't. So just be aware of that. Right now I've got a five point, a two point, and a 10 point assignment, which means assignment one is worth twice as much as the introduce yourself one. Um, one other thing, and you may have noticed as we were setting this up that you can do here, and that's to drop a lowest score. Again, I'm going to click on these three dots. It gives me some great options and I am going to click on edit and then let's go ahead and drop one of the lowest scores. You can also add one that you never drop. So some great options there. Let's click on save. Now that we've got our category set up, we can go ahead and move assignments into whatever category fits best. And I'm just going to grab this little array of dots here and then click hold and drag this introduce yourself down to participation. And maybe I want this welcome quiz to be down there in exams. Now I'm going to click on the welcome quiz so I can show you one more way to do this. As you're creating an assignment and you're in edit an assignment or a quiz or a discussion board and you're in edit under assignment group now, each of those categories that we've chosen show up and I can say make this under the exam category and then click on save. Okay, so that is one of the pieces of setting your grade book up. Piece number two is in the grades tab. Grades is really where your students are going to go to see their overall grade. And I want you to think of this as your grade book. This is a very uninteresting class. It's actually just my demo class here. In the grade book, you can use these three dots to get uh, lots of different options per assignment. You can also click on these to get to the assignment itself. You can also use this to move your assignments. Notice instead of clicking, I clicked to hold and then I'm dragging it to move it to another spot. And we've got the total over here. Let's go over to our settings. So way over here on the right hand side in this upper corner, I'm going to click on settings. One of my absolute favorite settings is to automatically assign students a zero for late work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and then assign that zero. 
The next thing that I really want you to look at as you're setting this up is the view options. You can go to the others if you want, but with these view options, you can add a notes column, which I find to be super helpful. I also wanna hide any unpublished assignments. If they're showing here, sometimes students are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this one was here. You can also hide their total grade, but I don't like to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one unchecked. So I like to go ahead and leave everything as is here, and then you can click on apply settings. Let me go ahead and click the X. So we've set up our categories in assignments. We also did our late posting policy and view options in grades. Finally, we're gonna do a grading scheme in settings. Don't you wish these were all in the same place? I'm gonna click on settings. It's at the very, very bottom of those tabs. And I'm gonna scroll down until I see grading scheme. I'm gonna click on enable grading scheme. There is a default grading scheme, which is actually really helpful. I'm gonna click on view edit so I can change this grading scheme so it matches mine. I'm gonna make an edit copy and I'm gonna go ahead and you can change this however you need to change this. The nice thing is that your students will see their percentage and the grade that matches your syllabus when they look at their grades. Once you've got it how you want, you wanna go ahead and click on save. I hope this gives you a great start to your grade book. Any questions that you've got for me, go ahead and put those down in the comments and I will see you next time.